Mighty Cup, everyone. Good morning from beautiful and sunny and peaceful Chiang Mai. Today is the 22nd of November 2021 and I want to show you how is Chiang Mai in November 2021. I made this video about Phuket, about Bangkok, about different places in Thailand, but today I want to show you Chiang Mai. We'll see the extraordinary, the beautiful, the good, the bad, but also the ugly and also the disruption and the devastation that the pandemic has brought to the city. So let's start our day by going to Tapa Gate, which is one of the most popular location here in Chiang Mai, and then we continue from there. Let's go. By the way, do you know how much it costs that Lamborghini Urus that we saw outside? In Thailand, with all the export tax and everything, it starts from 24 million baht. But it can go way higher to 30 million, 35 million baht. That's around 700,000 US dollar. That's crazy. Here we are in beautiful Tapa Gate in Chiang Mai, one of the most popular attractions. It's a beautiful gate that characterizes the entrance of the old city of Chiang Mai. And I want to take a quick second to just say thank you so much because I just reached 5,000 subscribers here on this channel and it's insane because I just started this channel one month and a half ago and here we are at 5,000 subscribers that's incredible thank you so much for your support and let's continue the journey now around Chiang Mai So here we are at Doi Sutep, one of the most famous attractions here in Chiang Mai. It's a beautiful temple. We're gonna take the, the stairs all the way up very soon. <laughs> so So as I said, I lived here in Chiang Mai in 2017 and then I came here a few other months in 2018, 19, 20. So I came here constantly and I saw how empty it was during the pandemic. 2020, Chiang Mai was really dead, very, very quiet. So how is Chiang Mai today? I would say compared to last year, it's doing much better. Most of the things are opening up and there are more people and more tourists. Yeah, I would say 20 or 30 percent compared to pre-pandemic but the trajectory it's going very well six months ago i came here and it was completely deserted like no people and now some shops are open some people are coming so it's definitely getting better
Chiang Mai take some time just to come up to Doi Su Tep. The view is incredible and this temple is magical. Yeah, here we are in the heart of Chiang Mai, Tapa Gate, as you can see here. But still many shops are closed. All there, it's all closed. That's the, of course, the result of the two years without tourists. All this area of the night bazaar used to be full of restaurants, full of shops, of course full of people, full of tourists. But now all these restaurants are shut down, there is probably 10% of the shops compared to before. So it's very quiet and uh, I would say that this area is the one that has been hit the most in Chiang Mai, the night bazaar area, because it was relying mainly on tourism. But also we don't have to forget that Chiang Mai is the second largest city in Thailand, right after Bangkok. It has more than 130,000 people living here. And you know, these people are still living in Chiang Mai. So there are many areas in the city that they are very full of people, very lively, where the businesses are open, where all the shops are open. Actually, just yesterday night, we were at the night market right in front of the Chiang Mai University and it was full of people, a lot of young people. All the restaurants were like packed with people, a lot of shops, a very great atmosphere and a great vibe. So for sure, the tourist area have been hit very hard, like a night bazaar, the old town around Niman as well. But there are many other areas in Chiang Mai that are kind of normal. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I'm here at Chiang Mai University right now. It's a beautiful campus, open to the public, so you can come here, enjoy, relax, and have a good time. It's very, very peaceful. One of my favorite places in Chiang Mai for sure. So to answer the question of this video, how is Chiang Mai right now in November 2021? I would say it's much better compared to six months ago when I was here in June, but still has a long way to go to recover because still many shops, many businesses are still closed. Even Niman area, which I showed you early, 
with the motorbike is still very quiet. Many businesses went bankrupt, many are still closed, as well as the night bazaar, as well as the old town. So has still like a long way to go. But at the same time, the high season just started here in the north of Thailand. And the coming months, December, January, February, they're gonna be amazing. It's definitely the best time of the year. So if you come to Thailand, make sure to come in the north and enjoy the mountains, enjoy many activities around this area because it's gonna be the best time of the year. Thank you again so much for watching. Please like this video if you enjoy this content. Comment also below and let me know if you've been to Chiang Mai before or not. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.